Hello internet friends! So, by popular demand, I am doing the Edward Cullen hair from um, Breaking Dawn. Now, I have to say, in this film, my man crush has reignited. Um, in the second and third one, was it New Moon and Eclipse, I went off him a bit. On the in the first film, I thought he was awesome. He was all broody and sort of mysterious and moody, and I thought, wow, he's cool. The second and third one, he was a bit sort of pathetic and just like, love me, just love me, and I went off him a lot. In this one, though, um, he's quite badass again, and I like him. Uh, also, his hair is much better. In the first one, he had that massive quiff thing, which was really cool. In some scenes, it looked a bit crazy, but in most of the film, I thought it was awesome. In the second and third film, I thought he was a bit sort of nondescript. In the third one, in particular, in Eclipse, he had sideburns that were just so thick. That's all I could look at throughout the film, and I kept thinking, just... Trim them, trim them. So I had to have a little bit of a trim for this video because my hair was really long in the fringe and his isn't as long. Um, I had it based on the um, images before the film came out, you know, like the posters, where he's like, I'm a vampire and I'm so misunderstood and I've got the weight of the world on my shoulders and oh boo hoo. And Jacob's just behind him like, Rah, I'm a werewolf. Rah. And then Bella's there. Actually, I'm not even going to bully Bella because I really fancy her. So anyway, after watching the film, um, it turns out that his hair isn't actually quite as short on the size as I had mine cut. So that's annoying. He's had a haircut between the poster and the actual film. Now his hair in this film changes in pretty much every scene. It's usually a little bit shiny. In one or two scenes it's matte, but I'm going to go with the majority and have a bit of a shine. But to be fair, it's doing something different in every scene. So what I'm going to show you is sort of a really pliable style so you can sort of mess it up. Now, in most scenes his hair is up. So we've got a hair dryer, my hair is wet, so we're going to dry it upwards because otherwise it won't stay there. You need a bit of heat to keep it where it, where it should be. Okay, so my hair is dry and sort of in place, kind of. Right, so type of products. I have two here. Um, firstly, I've got American Crew Forming Cream, and in this cling film, um, I have one by, I think it's called Joico. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's like that, I think it's called Joico. It did have a lid on it uh, and a pump, but I dropped it, pumped down, and it didn't work anymore, so I had to prise it open with a knife. Um, so now I've wrapped it in cling film. This is called Gloss Wax, and basically it's got very little hold, but quite a lot of shine. So what we're going to do is mix the two together in my hand and make like a cocktail. Now, with this style, less is very much more. You don't want much at all. This is really good because it's so pliable. It's got quite a bit of hold, but you can mess it up all day long. Now, you want not much of this at all. Even in my really thick hair, we don't want a great deal. So, a little bit like that. With this one, you get a little bit too. You would obviously pump it, because my pump's broken. Digging my fingers in. And that goes on there. Now, because this hasn't got much hold, and this one has, mixing them together gives you just the right amount, and it also gives you enough shine. So, mix it all together on your hands. Don't forget your fingertips. Like that. And you've got like a cocktail and you just rub it all in your hair. Make sure you get it everywhere, be really thorough with it. I've got a feeling that a lot of you are going to say this style is just like how I usually wear my hair. And to be fair, it kind of is. Mine's usually a little bit longer on the fringe and I don't always use these products. So now our hair has got all the product in it, time to sort of style it in some way. Now like I say, because his hair is so sort of changing and, and dynamic, you can sort of do what you want with it really. Um, he usually has a side sort of pull back a bit. Now don't go nuts and start doing that because it's going to look a bit over the top. It's got to look natural. So just get your fingers in and sort of break it back a little bit just with your fingertips like that. For the top and the fringe, you pretty much just get your hands in and mess it up until you're happy. So there you go. It really is that simple. I think a lot of people sort of think his hair is set in place. They use like a lot of gel. You really don't. You need not much product at all and you need something that's really pliable so you can sort of touch it and you know move it around all day. Now if you wanted it to stay put and you don't want to sort of be touching it and moving it around all day, don't put more product on because it looks too thick and caked on. I would recommend just a little bit of hairspray just to hold it in place. But there you go, that's it. I hope that's helped in some way. So don't forget to um, thumbs me up and um, subscribe up the top and leave comments and things. I really like the comments, I like the banter we all have. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye!